As Local 12's Anjanette Levy tells us, it's a move LGBTQ organizations say could open the door to discrimination. On the steps of City Hall, opponents of President Trump's outlined their fears about his executive order on religious liberty. It calls on the IRS to not penalize religious organizations for voicing political opinions. The Johnson Amendment is rarely enforced. But what we have witnessed today in the signing of this executive order is divisive. I believe it's evil, and it's designed to literally turn pulpits into puppets. But supporters of the president say the executive order is a start, but should have offered protections to businesses. Religious freedom and ministry, uh, th th those types of areas, uh, we really see a need. Uh, for President Trump to take executive action, but really for Congress to take action as well. Draft language of the order allowed federal contractors to discriminate against LGBTQ employees. But once President Trump had signed it, the language had been removed. The ACLU had called the order unconstitutional. But later in the day, the group issued a statement saying today's executive order signing was an elaborate photo op with no discernible policy outcome. The group also called it fake news. Even though it's not as sweeping as we had feared it would be, it starts us down that slope and it lets people know if they want to discriminate, that's the way the tide is going. The executive